Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The engine is the heart of an aircraft and the source of power. If the aircraft wants to obtain greater power, the aviation engine must ensure sufficient thrust. The domestically produced large aircraft C919 will soon be put into commercial passenger flight using Western engines. However, there is good news from domestic aviation development. The thrust of the Yangtze River 2000 engine exceeds 35 tons. What progress has been made? Can domestic aviation engines replace Western engines? How is the research and development progress of China aviation aircraft Yangtze River 2000? In the field of aero engines, Western countries have always occupied a leading position. However, it is also understandable, because they started earlier and accumulated more technology and experience. Some Western aero engine brands even have a history of a hundred years, and their heritage is immeasurable. It is not so easy to develop a new generation of aero engines within a period of more than 10 years, and it requires generations of people to overcome difficulties. The good thing is that China has not given up on the research and development of domestic aviation equipment. At present, the main aviation equipment models are Yangtze River 1000 and Yangtze River 2000. These two types of aviation engines have different application values, and the technologies adopted and the thrust levels set are also different. In contrast, the Yangtze River 2000 has greater commercial deployment value, because the Yangtze River 2000 is a domestic power system equipped for the CR929 wide-body passenger aircraft. Anyone who knows about it knows that CR929 is a joint project between China and Russia. Although Russia is also developing its own PD-35 engine product, it is also necessary to carry out localization of aviation development for the stable advancement of the project. Even if it is not for CR929, it can be deployed in other domestic large aircraft projects in the future. We must know that the Yangtze River 2000 is the domestically made aero engine project with the largest thrust under development. While high hopes are placed on it, many people are also paying attention to the progress of the Yangtze River 2000. So what is the progress of the Yangtze River 2000? At present, the new technology of the Yangtze River 2000 is progressing gratifyingly, and the test of important components of the core engine has been completed, including the test performance of the turbine, combustion chamber, high-pressure compressor and other components, which have achieved the expected results and the test results have been a great success. In addition, the thrust of the Yangtze River 2000 exceeds 35 tons, which is higher than that of the Boeing 767 engine, achieving the effect of catching up. In addition, other developments of the Yangtze River 2000 are also worthy of attention. For example, Harbin Guangan Transmission Company, Limited has completed the test of the fan-driven gearbox of the Yangtze River 2000 project. The transmission power of the fan-driven gearbox is as high as 20 megawatts. Even GTF technology, gear-driven fan, is used. Just looking at this news may be nothing, but even Western aero engines are only in their infancy in the field of GTF technology, and they are rarely used in the field of wide-body airliners, and most of them are only used in single-aisle airliners. Since the domestic manufacturers can complete the test on the fan drive gearbox based on this technology, it shows that the domestic civilian large duct turbofan engine is in the stage of rapid rise. If it goes well in the future and is successfully equipped on the Yangtze River 2000 aero engine, the overall aero engine level will stand at the international first line level. Of course, these are only part of the progress of the Yangtze River 2000. 
At the end of 2021, China Erzhong also completed the fan disc preparation technology of the Yangtze River 2000, contributing to the smooth progress of the project. Can domestic aviation engines replace Western engines? The manufacturing of aero engines is extremely difficult. Some people call aero engines the jewel in the crown of industry, which shows that aero engines are a masterpiece. Among the global aerospace giants, not many have truly mastered independent R&D and manufacturing capabilities, but all of them are leaders in human industrial civilization. For example, Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, Russia's United Engine Manufacturing Corporation, General Electric Corporation, etc., have made great scientific research contributions to human beings to manufacture aircraft and soar in the blue sky. It must be admitted that no matter how advanced an aero engine is, it cannot be separated from the attributes of the product. Since it is a commodity, it needs to be sold on the market. The competition between markets can easily affect countries' smooth access to aviation technology support. If imports can be made smoothly, free trade is a good thing. If some countries have other ideas, they can only rely on themselves to control aviation technology and not export it. The C919 model that has been delivered in China uses a foreign engine, the model is LEAP 1C, which is provided by CFM, a joint venture company between General Electric of the United States and Safran Group of France. The thrust of the LEAP 1C engine is 12 to 13 tons. Among the three engine models of ABC, the thrust and performance of the C model are not the highest. The possibility that the supplier has reservations is not ruled out, but at the same time, it is also informed that in order to obtain the best technical products, the support of self-development is also required. Fortunately, the domestic aviation engine has been developing in an orderly manner, so can it replace the Western engine? In theory it is possible. As long as the domestic aviation development company completes the corresponding tests, conducts a series of verification flights with the equipped aircraft, and obtains the airworthiness certificate, production certificate and operation license, etc., then the domestic aviation development company is expected to fly into the blue sky together with the domestic aircraft. Of course, since the development cycle of aviation development is longer than that of aircraft, it cannot land with domestic aircraft. This is also the reason why the domestically produced C919 large aircraft is not equipped with domestically produced aviation engines. But I believe that in the future, China-made aviation development will be able to land on CR929 and other projects together and shine brilliantly. The domestic aviation development has surpassed the Western countries, the thrust parameters of the Yangtze River 2000 are not worse than those of the Western countries, and the core engine test has been successful, the fan drive gearbox has completed the test and other development progress. We look forward to the debut of domestic aero engines and domestic aircraft soaring in the blue sky.